This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for building a brand and growing an online presence. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Susie and today I'm sharing with you my summer wish list. I did this back in spring, but obviously I'm gonna do an updated summer version of all the pieces, specific items, small brands I've got my eye on at the moment, and they're just giving me the best source of inspiration for how I wanna dress this summer. And as always, all the small brands mentioned will be linked in the description, as well as my Pinterest, which is where I get the majority of my images, and you guys can go and save them, follow my boards if you want to. First thing on my summer wish list are the new Peachy Den swimsuits. They are so nice, specifically this one. I was so close to buying it and then I saw the price tag and I just cannot justify doing that. I think if I lived in a hot country, I was swimming all the time, like every day in the summer, maybe I could justify spending that much on a bikini. And as always with Peachy Den, I love the pieces that they do and I also love the campaigns they do around their new collections, the pictures they take, the way they do their newsletters, everything is just so perfectly done where they've made me want to get the swimsuit just based on all the pictures they're taking so yeah loving all their swimwear i've also really been loving the adidas sambas i feel like they're everywhere everyone is wearing them i got back into superstars this year and they're one of my favorite shoes i've bought in 2022 i love them i wear them pretty much every day and i really want to get a pair of fun colored sambas i've been seeing like the green and yellow ones i don't know if they're sambas or if they're Hamburgs because I feel like I've seen them in both styles. I'm not really sure. Honestly, there's so many different um, Style names for Adidas shoes. I get so confused. Whatever that sort of style is. I want it I want it in fun colors. I think they'd be so fun to style with different pieces I've been seeing so many it girls wear them and they're definitely on my birthday list because um, my birthday is at the start of July So I'm just hoping that maybe somebody picks me up a pair. The Offcut Summer Collection. She always kills it. I've just been loving specifically the stuff that she's been releasing at the moment, particularly her mini skirts. A couple of them are like asymmetrical as well, which you know I love. And also her sleeves. We all know that I love sleeves and she just does them so well. I love the prints of them as well. And with the mini skirts, mini skirts in general has been something that I've been really keeping my eye on at the moment. Skirts that are so short, they're basically more like bikini cover-ups or things you wear to festivals or like beach day parties, that type of thing. I've been loving it. Been loving seeing so many small brands come out with that. Yellow Page have also come out with one which is very short, but it's like the perfect bikini cover-up. This one is a massive one, board shorts. I don't know if everyone else is like seeing these as a trend. I feel like since last summer, I've been seeing so many more girls on my Instagram wearing long baggy, probably men's section shorts anyway. And I feel like it's just within that category. And then I remember seeing Lainey Ozark in one of her recent videos talk about board shorts being a trend and she thrifted a pair and I can see the vision when she was talking about it and I completely agree. I think they're an amazing piece that would just be so fun to style. I wanna get an oversized pair that I can wear a bit low-waisted, maybe from the boy section, maybe from the little girl section, hopefully thrifted or that type of thing so you get those like true 2000s prints. Very Mary Kate and Ashley. I wanna pair it with a bikini top, some layered necklaces, and I think it'll be such a fun beach look. I'd wear it to a festival. I think it'll be fun in so many different summer occasions, and I'm like really see the vision for them. This one is not summer themed at all, but I'm desperate to get my hands on a pair of these. They're the Koi Footwear Long Black Buckle Boots. I first saw them by Abigail Masters, one of my favorite Instagrammers, and she rocks them so well. I think she was wearing them back in the autumn and I saw loads of people since wearing them. And then this is really random, but I've been watching Bling Empire on Netflix and Jamie was wearing boots like that with like a mini skirt and, and it just looks so good and I thought on a slightly colder English summer day boots like that with a mini skirt and it's always fun to pair something typically feminine with something typically masculine and having that like contrast and I feel like those boots would just be perfect to do and in my head there's something that I do want this summer even though they're definitely not a summer shoe I think your feet would actually boil off if you wore it in like proper summer weather. Okay, another piece that is just not typically summer, but leg warmers. I'm like kind of interested. I know they have their moment probably, maybe like last year or something. I feel like everyone was really getting into them. But 
I've been seeing this picture on Pinterest. The tabbies look cute with it, the like layered lace stockings underneath. It all just works and it's very ballerina vibes. And then I saw this girl on Instagram yesterday. I just started following her. I love her page so much. And I was like, damn, that is a vibe with the sambas on a beach even though she's wearing leg warmers which is not a summer accessory she's on a beach it works it looks like a summer outfit and i love it especially in this english weather i'm definitely gonna have days where i could wear leg warmers out and i wouldn't be too hot so i kind of want to maybe get a pair something that's constantly on my summer wish list every year is some sort of white skirt this year i'm kind of interested in a white tiered skirt i showed this in my like spring trends video this picture still has me in a choke hold i literally will not stop thinking about it until I managed to find a similar one myself. And then I saw this picture on my Pinterest with the ribbons. I think that's so fun. It's definitely something that is probably made by an amazing small brand or something I can upcycle myself. So I'm really hoping somehow this summer I get some type of asymmetrical skirt and maybe I can add a big fat ribbon like that. I just think it's really, really fun. Susa Musa Pieces. Susa Musa is one of my favorite small brands. I feel like you guys already know I speak about her quite a bit on the channel and she's come out with the Nova dresses. I did not say this right. She's come out with the Gina dress and then she has the Nova boob tube and matching skirt sets. Yeah, she has them in all different colors. Everyone I've seen, and I've been seeing a lot of people wearing her stuff, they all look so good. I feel like they're flattering on everybody. You can find a color that works for you. And the fact that they're all reversible is just so worth the money because you got two pieces in one and when they like pop out a little bit and you're always gonna see like a little trim of the underside. It just looks so good and it adds something special. I'm always recommending her stuff to friends. I think they're so worth the money. The quality, everything, amazing. The Soir toy, I am definitely said that wrong, um, bikini collections that I've been doing. It's an amazing UK based small business. She does her own designs and she's recently taken like dead stock football shirts and turned them into bikinis. I think they look amazing. I've been loving seeing all the different ones that she's come out with. I think they're really cool and they're just like a fun, unique bikini to get and they're always gonna be timeless. They're never gonna go out of fashion. Like some bikinis you think, oh, will I like this print in a few years? Are they worth the investment? That type of thing. But these are just gonna work. Also on my wish list is a ballet leotard. It's no surprise that like many people I've been into ballerina core. I know that name is a bit cringe and like whatever, but it's true. And I've been loving the idea of getting a ballet leotard. Maybe one which is just fully plain or one that has that little like ruching detail here. I think they always look so flattering and that picture that has me in a chokehold from Pinterest. She's wearing it there and it looks so good. So I'd love to find it in like a fun color, maybe a baby blue or even black, I think would be really nice. And I could wear that all year round and it's always gonna go with everything. And I had a big search on Vinted and loads of people are selling them on there. Obviously you can get them from dance websites as well. I just think they look so sleek and so good and will be such a good summer basic. And also with saying that, I have a bodysuit from American Apparel, which is a very similar silhouette and it's just so flattering. So I feel like if you don't wanna go for the dance ones and maybe like the fabric, it's not really for you and you want more of like a cotton one, definitely look up American Apparel on eBay, Depop, Vinted, Poshmark, however you like buy secondhand. Pieces from Ganny's summer collection. They always do everything so well. I'm not gonna lie, they are expensive. They're out of my budget, but I can still sit back and admire from afar. I love so many pieces from the collection. I think they're so beautiful. Of course, also on my wish list is gonna be more dainty pieces. My Pinterest is filled with inspiration for this and I'm just constantly looking on Vinted and Depop and in charity shops for pieces like this. I feel like it's an aesthetic that maybe I wouldn't wear a couple years ago. So it's really nice to just play around with all these new pieces, layering so much ribbon. And I'm always on the hunt for new pieces like this to add to my wardrobe. Mini skirts with hardware. I'm always on the lookout for these. And because of my love for belts at the moment, getting skirts that look like they have belts built in, I love them. And then it means that you can pair your own belts with those type of skirts. And then you've got like a really nice layered system with loads of belts. And of course I'm still on the hunt for belts in general because I love layering belts. And I'm also on the hunt for belts that don't look like your typical buckle belt. I'm seeing belts everywhere. I'm loving people style them with dresses, skirts, trousers. I am literally wearing one right now. They've just become a huge accessory for me and you can always find the best belt secondhand. The funkier the better, the weirder the better. I'm probably gonna say this wrong, Nadenav Studios. They're a new knit brand that I found and particularly she does these striped sleeves. I've been loving stripes this year and I wanna kind of get more stripes into my wardrobe 
thinking about the autumn time. They're a really nice silhouette. They kind of go out in like a bell shape as well. Probably also gonna say this wrong, Christina Criaco. She is another knitwear small brand. I particularly love her gray distressed long sleeve jumper. It really reminds me of the silhouette of the Lilies of the Valley one that I spoke about in previous videos that is still within my radar. When she next drops them, I really, really wanna buy one. That sort of silhouette of jumper I've been loving. It's kind of tight but it's a little bit baggy as well. They have like the same rolled up sleeves as well. I think it's just such a nice silhouette and I've been loving her styles at the moment with knitwear. By Maddie London is another small brand that I found. I feel like I've really been finding so many small brands within the last couple weeks. She does really cool stretchy distress pieces, particularly her mini skirt. Again, it's in that category of mini skirts that are just perfect to wear over bikinis, day parties, festivals, that type of thing. They're a little bit skimpy. They're really cute and especially as hers has got holes in it they're going to be so fun to layer over things like bikinis where you've got a fun bold print underneath she also does all this stuff in the denim print i featured her mini denim booty shorts when i was speaking about summer trends that i love again still on my radar absolutely love those sorts of pieces a pleated mini skirt i've been seeing quite a few people wear this one i don't know what the brand is i need to like do some research and figure it out it's probably gonna be expensive though i feel but I love skirts like that. I've been seeing so many people wear it with long boots, stiletto boots. I think it would also suit the koi footwear shoes that I want to get. And I've spoken about my love for pleated skirts in general, but I really want to get like a short one like that. That's a little bit A-line. It goes out a little bit. I just love them. Pale coloured bloomers. There's this one TikToker who sells on Depop and you guys always tag me in her stuff. She has the best like pale coloured bloomers. I absolutely love them but she sells them for so much money and she's based in the US so I'm like not even touching that. Like I'm not paying the shipping for all of that but I would love to get like a pale yellow pair, a purple pair, a blue pair, a pink pair. Also, this girl I follow on TikTok called Poppy, she has these like gingham layered white ones. I don't know where the hell she found them. They are literally perfection. I would love to either DIY or try and like layer something to make bloomers kind of in that vibe. I think they look really, really cool and it's fun to get bloomers. They're a little bit different to everybody else. Also, this other TikTok that a couple of you guys have been tagging me in, this design is really, really cool. Basically, any type of bloomers are a little bit out of the ordinary. And finally, built-in layered bustiers. I don't know if that makes any sense, but Holly Berry was selling this one and I love that sort of silhouette where it looks like you're just layering something over a prairie top. Also this D&G vintage one, love that. I think it's such a cool silhouette and so many dead stock brands do this. So I feel like I'm constantly on the hunt for pieces like that and obviously you can still achieve this without buying a top like that i do have like a prairie silhouette top like that from years ago that would be fun to maybe see if i've got anything that would work layered over it like that because i love that look obviously it's giving summer maiden it's giving prairie and i absolutely love it and i feel like it's a little like 2000s twist I would love to know what pieces are on all of your wish lists, so leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe and follow me on my social media if you don't already, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. As you all know, I've been building a website on Squarespace as part of both an online portfolio of my artwork and projects, as well as a CV for all my future job applications. As you know, I print my own clothes, so I'm currently working on turning a section of my website into an online store. I've also been using the social media accounts tool to display posts from my Instagram and my other social media profiles onto my website to connect my audiences and create direct traction. And finally, Squarespace also allows you to create a community within your website with the integrated commenting system. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.